Listen to a little Roy Harper today, guys, with Jimmy Page on guitar. Jimmy's always got such a unique sound, even on the acoustic, you know it's him. Anyways, yeah, a little, little different vibe uh, for today. T Tony Franklin, the bassist, recommended I get this uh, record to hear Roy Harper and Jimmy Page works work together and it's quite good definitely um i don't know not 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 for everybody though check it out online before you buy it um drinking a snapple today just got back from m3 and uh man it was great it was great so let me tell you my um i'm going to mention two performances because there were dozens of performances um but two that really stuck out to me were Quiet Riot. James Durbin destroyed it. And I have to admit, when Quiet Riot first, you know, were going out with these different singers, and it's not really the classic lineup. I know Chuck Wright is there, but let's face it, uh, he's been in the band longer than anybody, but he's not Rudy Sarzo, okay? Um, so, uh, yeah, I was a little like, eh, they shouldn't be doing this without Kevin. You know, I, I had mixed feelings. But I started feeling a little better about it after I watched that documentary a few years back. Uh, now we're here and there's no way back. Now I'm here. Whatever it was called. Um, I think Now You're Here and There's No Way Back was the documentary that Frankie's wife did on uh, on Frankie, basically, and Quiet Riot. So, anyways, they just destroyed it. And they, they James Durbin delivered those Quiet Riot songs the way I, as a Kevin Dubrow fan, wanted to hear them. His onstage presence was excellent. I mean, he's you know he's not in his 60s as a younger guy, so he's got that energy. I, I love I loved seeing him up there. And Frankie, a guy in his 60s, man, beating the hell out of those drums, sounding great. Great job, Frankie Benelli. Uh, great job. But one of the highlights of the M3 Festival 2019 Quiet Riot set. Another highlight, Kingdom Come. Man, uh, different singer, this guy Keith, who seems like a, a nice guy. I felt like he was kind of clingy around my wife all weekend, but um, maybe that was just me <laughs> imagining it. But um, great, great set by Kingdom Come. Wow. The uh, original band with this new singer, Keith uh, St. James from Burning Rain, and they were just great I, and I mean, Kingdom Come is so much more than Get It On. I mean, this is a great song. We love that song. But go back, listen to some of their other stuff. And if they come through your area of the country or the world, go see Kingdom Come because they delivered it 100%. And uh, so many great performances. White Snake, Vince Neil was great. We got a little rain on Sunday, which sucked. You know, um, George Lynch was not there for the Dokken quote unquote reunion, and neither was Mick Brown, <laughs> as as we were promised. We were told a little bit before that that George was sick, and uh, Don definitely struggles a little a bit with the vocals. I'll, I'll definitely say that, but um, it's still fun seeing him on stage. But such an amazing, amazing weekend. I, I love M3. Go to M3 next year. It will be fantastic, fantastic. And uh, that's going to do it for today. Just a quick update. I uh, just posted my Bobby Blitz. That's my uh, Martin Guitars thermal. Just posted my Bobby Blitz interview on uh, on iTunes. Go check it out. Talking Metal episode 810, 810 episodes. Who would have known? And support me on Patreon for more of these videos, bonus podcasts, all sorts of great stuff on Patreon. And say hi to Pearl. Make sure you get your Mother's Day cards in the mail today, guys. Or it's not going to get to mom on time if you're a card guy like I am. Mail them today. I just mailed mine on the way here. So cool. We'll talk to you soon, guys.